Hi. I am a 3D chatbot created using IBM Watson services. I will show you how to hook up a 3D character, like me, to IBM Watson using Unity. My 3D model is generated by the Unity Multipurpose Avatar 2 system, which you can obtain for free from the Unity Asset Store. Salsa Lip Sync provides the animation for my lip syncing. Salsa can also be obtained from the Unity Asset Store, but it is not free. My underlying code and Unity project can be found at GitHub. However, since Salsa is not free, anything with Salsa in it was removed. Even my 3D model was removed, since without Salsa, I would just be standing there looking rather silly. First, download or clone the Unity project from GitHub and open the project with the Unity editor. Let's start with a text-to-speech scene. There should be a text-to-speech scene labeled with UMA, or UMA, as I am called. A version of this scene was used to generate the audio for this presentation. I will show you how to use this Unity project and IBM Watson text-to-speech to convert type text into audio speech for input into Salsa, which will then make a 3D character's mouth and lips move. We will also hook up IBM Watson speech to text as input into IBM Watson Assistant, which will then be used as input into the text-to-speech component to create a 3D chat bot like me. In the Unity Editor, go to the Asset Store tab, then find and import the Unity Multipurpose Avatar 2 system. This may take some time, much more than shown in this video, so you may need patience. The folder for UMA should appear under Assets. Find the Getting Started subfolder, where you will find a few useful prefabs. Please drag the Environment prefab to the project hierarchy. This basically consists of a floor, which keeps me from falling out of the scene as soon as it starts. Please make the floor larger by increasing transform scale to 100, 1, 100 as shown. Drag the UMADCS prefab and the UMA dynamic character avatar prefab to the hierarchy. Please note that you will not be able to really see the avatar until you run the program in the editor. Select the UMA dynamic character avatar in the hierarchy and set my transform to a position of 0, 0, 2, and a rotation of minus 180 degrees around the Y axis as shown in the video. Before running the program, please first give me some clothes. If you select UMA dynamic character avatar prefab in the hierarchy, you should be able to find a box in the inspector with the message, drag wardrobe recipes here. You can find wardrobe recipes in the UMA folder. Go to Content, UMA Examples, Human Mail, Recipes, and finally Wardrobe Recipes. Please select my hair and drag it to the box in the inspector. You should see it appear in the list below the box. Please also do the same for my shirt and pants.
If you run the project in the editor, you will now see me appear in the game window. To animate my lips in response to audio, you can find and purchase Salsa Lip Sync in the Unity Asset Store. After purchasing it, please import the asset into the project. Next, please go to the Salsa Lip Sync download area at the Crazy Minnow Studio website. You will need the email address you used for purchase, as well as the asset store invoice number to log into the download area. After logging in, you should see the download page. Please scroll down and download the latest one-click base and the most recent one-click UMA DCS package. Import the one-click base package by right mouse clicking in the project window. Choose Import Package then Custom Package. Select the one-click base and import it. I have previously already imported it, so the editor states that I have nothing to import. Please do the same for the one-click for UMA. To apply the one clicks, first select the UMA dynamic character avatar in the hierarchy. Please go to the menu bar at the top of the editor and choose game object, then crazy minnow studio, then salsa lip sync, then one clicks, then UMA DCS.
You should see Salsa appear in the inspector. If you play the project in the editor, the 3D avatar will lip sync the promotional audio clip for Salsa. Salsa Simple Automated Lip Sync Approximation The unique technology behind Salsa provides high quality lip sync automation for your 2D and 3D character models. To set up Salsa to be used with Watson text to speech, please find the audio source for Salsa in the Inspector for Uma Dynamic Character Avatar. Click on the target symbol next to audio clip and change the audio clip to none. Now, the only thing left to do is to indicate that the output of text-to-speech should go to the Salsa component to NUMA. This is done by selecting text-to-speech in the hierarchy. You should see a slot for output audio source under the text-to-speech script in the inspector. Drag the UMA dynamic character avatar into this slot. Its audio source should then appear there. Before running the project, let's make it obvious it's not me speaking, and change the voice to Kevin in the text-to-speech script in the inspector for the text-to-speech component. To test this, run the project in the editor. Enter some text into the input field and hit enter. The 3D model should lip-sync whatever you enter. Hello, how are you today? Creating a complete 3D chatbot is not much different. We just need to hook up the speech to text and chat components before the text to speech component. There is a prefab which contains the entire chatbot unit, but let's make one from the separate components. Drag the speech to text and chat prefabs into the hierarchy. The first step is speech to text. Select the speech to text prefab in the hierarchy and identify the slot for the target game object. Then, drag the chat prefab from the hierarchy into the slot. I noticed a problem while doing this. We created prefabs for convenience, but sometimes the links to the Watson settings file, which contains the Watson credentials like the API keys, are broken, as shown in this prefab. This happens when I delete the settings file before pushing the project to GitHub. Settings cannot be set to none if you want the program to work. If this is the case, find the Watson settings file in the resources folder and drag it into the settings slot of the text to speech prefab. The chat prefab is also missing the settings file and must have a settings file dragged into its slot. Then, drag the text to speech prefab from the hierarchy into the slot for the target game object. If you try to run the program, it will run, but not correctly. The chatbot continuously talks to himself because it records and responds to his own speech. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Hi there. It's a beautiful afternoon. There is an additional script, named bot control which turns off the recording when the bot is speaking, and starts recording again when it is done speaking. 
We can create a game object and drag the script onto it so that it controls the recording. Drag the speech to text, chat, and text to speech prefabs into their slots in the script of the bot control game object in the inspector. Now, the chat bot should work as shown. Hello, I am Radbot, an AI diagnostic imaging chatbot. I want to order an imaging study. Which part of the body do you want to image? I want to look at the head. Why do you need imaging? I'm looking for tumor. What kind of imaging? I want an MRI. So you want an MRI of the head to assess for tumor, is that correct? Yes. Okay, we will schedule your requested study. I hope this tutorial has been useful or interesting. Goodbye.